What up? How's it going? Hey, so uh, Chuck, Chuck used this old ass recorder to catch his brother. Now I got to see what comes of it. Yo, it was brought to my attention that uh, apparently there's dislike for the brother. And uh, I guess I could see it because, yeah, he got hater in him. But here's the thing. Two things can be right at once. Not only does he have hater in him, Chuck be right. <laughs> like the shit that Jimmy's doing. What? what we, that can't happen, right? But, yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, get this episode started. The hell? You see a guy in a corduroy coat go by? Young guy, dark hair, corduroy coat. How about it? Listen, you under arrest, sir. Put your hands on your head, please. Let's go. Nice job. Say nothing, you understand? Get a lawyer! <laughs> what a dope Get man, that's dope. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, they did that perfect. The frost, <laughs> little frost spatula hit him dead in this shit. Like, blah. I'm going to go call Howard. Jimmy, you do realize you just confessed to a felony? Ooh, he got him yes. to say all that on tape. But you feel better, right? Besides, it's your word against mine. What's it matter what I said, Howard? Why are you looking a gift horse in the mouth? He just... Yeah, well, whatever it was, he's over it now, right? And by the way, you're welcome. Jimmy! Jimmy, if you're gonna help, uh, at least use a little finesse. Finesse? Just, what do you... Well, just quit yanking at it. Well, maybe you should have thought about the friggin' walnut before you covered it in duct tape. I don't need your help. See? Alternate the thumbs. Up and down. <clears throat> Get a nice tight roll going. <clears throat> Holy crap. 1912. Yeah. Belonged to Grammy Davenport. She wrote her name in it. She was reading that to her school kids the year the Titanic went down. Damn. You have had this weird night light that you were so crazy about. It was, um... It was Daffy Duck. It was some Daffy Duck <laughs> ripoff with this weird red bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it used to get so hot, we thought it would burn the house down, but right. we wouldn't let anybody touch it. Yes. You got a great memory, Chuck. Red Bill and everything. Hey, what was the name of that little girl that lived uh, three houses up from us? She had, like, a page boy Jimmy. haircut, and she was always in the dirt. Always dirty. Jimmy. I liked her. She was Jimmy. always... Don't think I'll ever forget what happened here today. <laughs> and you will pay. Huh. So how's Chuck? A crisis averted, I guess. I mean, he's back to being the same old Chuck, so. We'll see about that. Wanna talk about it? Depends. It may or may not involve that thing you said you never ever wanted to mm. discuss. Okay, okay. then yeah. thanks. You realize how far behind I am, not to mention now, I've got eight entire wills to finish up. What are you talking about? I'll do the wills. No, you won't. Of course I will. Do the wills. They're my clients. They're my clients. Look, I told every single one of them the situation, that they'd be getting me instead of you. I tried to talk them all into coming back another day. Six of them left. Maybe you'll get those back. I mean, look, if this is about the money... It's not about the money. You, you see, the thing with Jimmy is, if it was onesies and twosies, it'd be something. It'd be like, ugh. But his whole thing is fuck the rules. You literally can't have a job. We love what Saul is. But in order to become Saul, he has to say fuck the rules. Okay? Let's just put it that way. For 10 minutes today, Chuck didn't hate me. I forgot what that felt like. You do realize you just confessed to a felony? Yes. But you feel better, right? Besides, it's your word against mine. That's the end of it. Howard, that's the end.
That motherfucker seeing red. <laughs> Your brother is one world class son of a bitch. No offense. <laughs> I just really wish you'd told me about these plans of yours before you went out and did it. Chuck, this tape. I'm not sure exactly what it accomplishes. You're gonna have a hell of a time getting that admitted. I agree. Chuck, if that tape is useless in a court of law and no help in the court of public opinion, what's the point? Because I can't think of a single use for it. I can. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> to draw out this law. The way it's done is, uh, is dope. I like it. I was wondering when he's gonna go into the panel. Hey, mister. We're closing in 15 minutes. Call me a cab, will you? <laughs> what about your vehicle? It's yours now. Keep it. What? What's happening here? The one he threw down? You sell a gas cap for an 87 Caprice wagon? Should. GM cap should be the blue on the bottom there. Yeah, but he threw it. I thought it didn't mean anything. I don't know, it was something that stood out about him throwing that gas, that gas cap, like, the way he did, that it sort of stood out. So he went and opened that one that he threw out to see if something could fit in there, and realized, okay. He just put it right back in there. I escorted you and your clients onto oh. my base. Oh, that's right. I treated yeah. you with hospitality and respect. <laughs> And now I come to find every word out of your mouth is a damn lie. And your so-called war hero, Fudge Talbot, no such person never was. Granted, some artistic license may have been taken. Hey, who was hurt, huh? What was damaged? The, the base is still there, right? The B-52 is, I presume, still- B-29. Huh? <laughs> B-29, Fifi's a B-29. You don't like the commercial. No, no, I don't. But this has well, nothing to do with the criticism is always welcome. But, but you I should realize know. that most people find it uplifting. Patriotic even. Uh, you I, check your recruiting I, numbers. I, I think I, you're going to see an uptick. And you know what? If it turns out that Fudge wasn't actually in the war. Fudge is not a person. He wasn't in the war. <laughs> well, neither was Tom Cruise. And look what Top Gun did for you. You lied to me. You lied to my face. And I can't let you get away with it. You're going to take that ad off the air. And if you play that ad one more time, I'm going to go to the judge advocate and we will take you down. Trespassing, oh, false representation, <laughs> stolen dollar, the whole nine yards. Seriously, for eight seconds of a TV commercial. Do you take that ad down or there'll be hell to pay. Damn. Make me. Oh, shit. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Make you? Yeah, let's do this. You bring your commander down here and I'll explain to him how you let us on the base. Red carpet treatment. No, the, because you go. lied your way in. Not how I remember it. What and happened? I've got witnesses to back me up. Do you like being an Air Force captain, huh? You think the United States wants to bring action against an old man in a wheelchair? He was standing on TV. Right. He wasn't even in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, well, periodically he is. And when he shows up in court, you better believe he'll be in a wheelchair. Right, because you're an ambulance chasing piece of shit because you're all the same. You're the same as always. Always on a high horse, 
always trying to make me feel like I'm... Look, um... I'm just into arguing with I'm Chuck. a lawyer, and this is what I do all day, every day, so... How about this? I, I won't fly jet planes. You uh, stay out of court. Does that sound good? Yeah, guys like you. You think you're so damn smart, and you think you don't have to play straight with anybody. The wheel is gonna turn. It always does. And he's gonna see if somebody took it out. I'm assuming. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're doing this. It's like when, uh... Gus did it with the, uh, the fan. It's a real thing? Yeah. And yeah, I know someone who can get it. How much? What, like Radio Shack? It's gonna cost you whatever it costs me, plus my end. That's a draft letter from Kevin to the Arizona regulator. I know he likes the personal touch. He's gonna love it. Oh, I can't believe you did all of this in three days. Am I reading this right? Did you get the rehearing moved up? Yeah. Those are three possible dates pending your and Kevin's schedule. The soonest I could get is the fourth. You moved it up almost three weeks. I'll give it another shot and see if I can do better. <laughs> you should have heard how that arrogant jerk spoke to me at the hearing. Right there in front of Kevin, he accuses me of muddying the waters. Muddying the waters. I know you have friends over at HHM and they sure talk a good game, but come on. But come Guys on. Guys like that when crunch time comes, it's always someone else's fault. Actually, would you mind if I messenger that over tomorrow morning? First thing, I'd like to take one last look before we submit. Just double check a few things. They, they, they be talking real bad about that boy Chuck. <laughs> Motherfuckers always trying to blame somebody else when they the ones who fucked up. <laughs> Chuck is like, it wasn't me. How's it coming in there? Good. Don't mean to rush you. No, it's okay. I'm done. Any work that is administrative, I'd say about 50% of it is that right there what she was doing. Like, God damn it, is it comma, colon, semicolon, space hyphen. Like, <laughs> like grammar. Like, God damn. You ready to hit it? Sorry, I just need to check one thing. It'll be two minutes. Hey, man, they better be breaking bread with Ernesto. Perfect. Uh. Shit. Yo, Chuck is hilarious. My man carrying batteries. Ah, oh, God damn. Like, he holding a... Uh, a goddamn hot plate or some shit. Thought I could do this myself. No, you can't. You can't. Uh, would you mind uh, changing the batteries? Sure thing, Mr. McGill. I changed 1261 to 1216. It was me. Turn that off. Turn it off. It all went. Turn it off. Exactly. Uh, you did not hear that. I did hear it. And you had to pay me a little bit more for what just happened here. As employees of Hamlin, Hamlin, McGill, you and I are both bound by the strictures of client confidentiality. By law, both of us, by law. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not supposed to tell anyone? That's right. We don't want you to get into trouble. Oh, so now you're threatening my man. If something were to happen to you because of this, I feel sick about it. I'll be like, I feel like you're gonna get in trouble. I guess I'll go finish putting away the groceries. Yo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ernesto. Is Ernesto ever going to get to come up? Like, I don't like how they play my man Ernesto, yo. I don't like it. I don't like it. If I, if I got a problem with Chuck and Hamlin and all of them, it's how they treat Ernesto. Okay. Let's see. He's going to put his in there. Somebody gonna go and retrieve it. Guys, for Tuesday, high temperatures will be in the mid 60s with 5 to 10 mile per hour winds, but expect scattered showers Tuesday night with lows in the 40s. Oh! Wednesday, 
He's going to run the fucking battery down. So that way they like, oh, we got to come change it. And they're going to come <laughs> grab the one he got. And he's going to be able to track them. Fire. Start by saying don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure to hit the notification bell. Shout out to all the new viewers. Shout out to all the subscribers. And I have a Patreon, full length early reactions to things like this. If you'd like to, check it out. A hey, uh how Mike did that was dope, right? Like y'all saw how like uh I don't know how I was when I finally figured out what he was doing. I was like, oh, okay. Cause it's not as simple as what Gus did, where Gus just took the thing from up underneath his kept it right there at the damn uh at the uh, the chicken spot, he went and did his business. He'd come back, put it right back on. So that motherfucker think he's going home to work every day at no place else, right? This is different. He needs to see where these people are at. And I was trying to figure out how's he going to do it. So he went and got it, got it on his own. I'm trying to figure out, okay, he got that. But how in the world is he going to get them to take it? And he did the thing with the battery. And even still, I'm like, okay, you just going to take the battery out because right because if a battery's out they're going to be like skeptical like wait a minute that power just went off oh he found out but if you drain it that's something different right and as i said seeing him do it i would have never thought of that if you asked me how to drain it makes sense now i know for the rest of my life but it's not something i've ever thought about so when a person sees that they're not gonna it's not gonna be as if you just took the battery out and they go oh shit he found out they go to see it drain and be like oh it's drained like uh you know it had power it doesn't have power anymore so he puts in the one that he he purchased and now he's tracking them down so this is gonna be interesting to see who it is i think i know who it is but it's just funny. I'm like, yo, he stayed up. My bad's bad. Oh, he pistachios. And what if they don't even come that night? Nah, they came. They they keeping a watch on him, right? It was the see. It was that whole sequence, but also the sequence of him trying to figure out if his the the vehicle he was in right then and there was bugged, right? And he went through everything. And I, as I said, when he threw the gas cap, it stuck out to me because right then and there, if you didn't understand it before when it was up on blocks, you understood it right then and there. Oh, he's never taken using this car ever again. So he just fucking threw that down. And then he asked the guy, hey, do you have it for the car he got at the crib? And I'm like, wait, what? And then we see what, what took place from there, right? Like, I, y'all... Y'all see, I realized later, oh, he realized that they were, they've been tracking him. <laughs> they've been tracking this man. So he went out there and popped it open like, oh, shit. So then he goes to the house and realized, oh, shit, they tracked my, okay. Pretty crazy. Uh, Let's see. The thing with Chuck. As I said, I like this. I still don't have anybody... As it was explained to me, some people were like, it's a Chuck hate thing, but I still don't have a thing where I hate either one of them. And the reason is, or even dislike either one of them. It, this is one of them things where I just find it interesting what they're going through and how they playing it. As you saw, I came to a realization when Hamlin explained to Chuck, he said, yo, you know, there's, there's ethical shit behind this, but also if you pull this, get this admitted, he's going to try to get this. They, for one, it's going to be hard as hell to get it admitted. Second, uh, if it got admitted, he just going to use some sort of experts. Like that's not my voice. He can throw all sort of like shady shit on, onto this and get it just worthless. And he's like, I know, I know, I know. And he seems to have found a way to deal with this. I wonder, I wondered aloud if he's going to do something that affects Kim, which would be fucked up. Okay. 
then we go into a whole nother thing. Cause she didn't, she didn't ask for any of this. She did. I mean, see, that's the thing about the show. She did ask for some of it, right? She asked for some of it cause she's with Jimmy. She know what was up. She got in the car. She punched him. She know what was up, right? She just said, don't talk to me about it. Does it involve in Ernesto? Oh shit. It does involve Ernesto, huh? Let me think. Hold on. When Ernesto spoke to he I think he realized that Ernesto was lying about um, you know, when Chuck arrived and all that. And I think he realized, oh no, they're cool. They're still boys. And I wonder if he played that tape for him to get Jimmy to know that he has the recording. And it'll and because it'll have Jimmy thinking that he doesn't know that he now knows about the recording. I, I don't know. I just wonder if he's going to utilize Ernesto. Because I'm like, wait, this whole battery thing. The, really? The batteries? Are, how much he been playing that tape? That motherfucker been playing that tape back and forth. But the, the tape recorder has been sitting in there for a while. So we'll see. But yeah, this situation is weird to me. Uh, The thing with Kim, yo, she's doing a good job. There was something that was so that was subtle once again. It just goes to show how Jimmy is about everything. And even us, the viewer, we'll, we'll overlook it, right? We'll just be like, okay, yeah, let him get his clients back. He'll do it. She's like, no, they're my clients. I told them this, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, and then I, sh I can't just give them to you. And then she says, and uh, like, we're two different companies. If they're the same company. That's one thing, but they're two different companies. And she's like, okay. And then she says, I told them to go and you wouldn't be here, but they still chose to be with me. Jimmy on something small like that is like, man, come on, you know, and with him, it's every little thing. He's trying to find a way out of it. Now we fuck with it, right? Cause that's just, that's Saul. Like we're getting to a Saul point and, but the thing is in real life, right? Uh, yo, when the air force captain came in there, I didn't even realize I'd forgotten about him. And when he came in there, he was pissed. It was funny because it was a moment where, yo, you could tell just how Chuck feels about him, wears on him and all that. But it's how everyone looks at him. Chuck is just the main one. It's like the one hovering, hovering over him. But everyone looks at him as just some swindler and all that. And I mean, you are. See, that's the thing. Two things can be true at once. Yeah, people look at him a certain way. Yeah, people treat him a certain way. But he got scumbag tendencies, right? Which is cool. Uh, but that whole sequence with the captain was funny because he's like, man, go do what you will. But I'm going to let them know what happened. It's our word against yours. I have guys who will be. And he said something about taking them out. Uh, don't put don't put the the ad up. Take the ad down. He's like, man, I'm not taking shit down. What are you talking about? Right, like, you know, y'all are going to sue, uh, go against a man in a wheelchair. He was like, he was standing in the commercial. That was hilarious. But yeah, uh, let's put it this way: it's not so much about Jimmy at this moment as it about as it is about what Chuck is planning. And then we also have Mike doing what he's doing, and then Kim, she kept doing that paper over and over, and I wonder if. It's in the back of her head, yo, I can't make any mistakes. Like, look how bad she talked about this motherfucker Chuck. I wonder if it was that or, you know. But yeah, hey, next episode.